You're watching Living Well with HIV. Hi, I'm Jessica Seta, and you're watching Living Well with HIV. You're watching Living Well with HIV. You're watching Living Well with HIV. Jack McEnroe. Thank you. Hey everybody, I'm Drew Carey. You're watching Living Well with HIV. God bless you. Do you suggest we find a cure? Well, I think the main thing is what we're doing now. This is a very good cause for us to continue to gather together and for us to walk annually like this. It's absolutely wonderful because it brings so much more awareness to it. And the more people get involved and begin to participate. My reasoning, of course, um, is that my brother, he really, really spent a lot of time in donations to the, um, this organization. So I want to carry that on. I didn't want it to stop. I want to keep going. I want to keep it alive and I want to support it. And I've been doing everything with my power. And I've told Frank and everyone, if they ever need my support for anything, just please let me know. I'm here to help find a cure for this because this is very close to my heart. How do we erase the stigma that's a gay disease? You know, that's that's really sad. Like you said, how do we eradicate that, meaning that stigma? It's simply by bringing awareness, by doing what we're doing. The more we get out there, the more we speak about it, the more people learn about it, the more they know, then they'll realize I said, this is just, is it for it's not that like, What would you like to say to the long time survivors of HIV, HIV and AIDS? Well, you know, my, my, I just feel so wonderful, so wonderful that they're there. I'm hoping very, very soon that we find a panacea for the long time survivors because we need this. I do know that there was a vaccine. I don't know how accurate it is, but I was told it was 31% accurate. Well, I hope it's that and even more. So please, by all means, let's keep up all the good work and keep doing what we're doing. We need to do this. Education we came from, key. Latoya, we came from Europe. Can I ask you a key. question? And, and we it's not related to the event. Thank yes. you for keeping Michael's legacy alive. Well, we thank appreciate you. it. And we love yeah. you, Latoya. Yes, thank, thank you so much. much. I love all of you guys yeah. as well. Thank you, Latoya. Thank, thank, thank you for coming out. Latoya, I will be at Millions Milkshake serving that night, and all the proceeds that I serve will go to AIDS Project LA. God bless you. God bless you. And Michael will be so proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Latoya, we can all get away from Europe, and the people in the Soviet Republic, they still live a little bit behind. Do you have a message for them? Well, you know, this I certainly hope this is going to get to them, and I just want them to know that it's very important that you have an open mind and that you listen and you learn. As we all say, education is the key to everything. So once they see what we're doing here, hopefully we can establish something in that part of the world where people can walk as well in this special Have area. you ever been in Slovak Republic? Yes, of course I have. Yes, Perfect. I have. Okay, guys, I got to show thank you. I'm watching Living Well with HIV. Thank you. Hey, what's up? I'm Dr. Stewart, and you're watching Living Well with HIV. Hi, you're watching Living Well with HIV. Hi. I'm Ricky Lake, and you're watching Living Well with HIV. Hi, I'm Wilson Cruz, and you're watching Living Well with HIV. You're watching Living Well with HIV. You're watching Living Well with HIV. Good morning, and thank you all for being here. It's going to be a wonderful day for AIDS Project Los Angeles and for the health and well-being of the cities of West Hollywood and L.A. and the whole Southland, and we thank you so much for turning out in such great numbers this morning. I also know you want to join me in thanking the more than 1,500 AIDS Project Los Angeles volunteers who got here a lot earlier than the rest of us to make today's event such a, such a great success. I also want to thank the uh, small but mighty staff of AIDS Walk Los Angeles, our uh, Senior Director of Campaign Operations, William Archer, our Senior Director for Creativity, Leaf Green, and most especially our brilliant event director, Shona Borovitz. Thank you very much. I also want to just briefly mention that there was this wonderful little woman 
back in 1985 by the name of Zelda Rubenstein, who graced our stage and helped convey some of the earliest AIDS prevention messages uh, here or anywhere. And before we hear from Zelda, I just want to say that she, play, she played a key role in the very first HIV prevention campaign, Mother, um, LA Cares Like a Mother. And 25 years later, last year, she came and she made what ended up being her very last public appearance here on this stage of AIDS Walk Los Angeles. So I just want to take this opportunity to honor the memory of Zelda Rubenstein. Wonderful to be here. This is an amazing crowd. I wish you a comfortable walk. Not so comfortable that you forget why you're walking, but comfortable enough to make you want to come back year after year until this virus is totally eradicated. So back in 1985, the government had a fair amount of money, but did not have the will to devote that money appropriately to the fight against AIDS. And thank heavens for strong leaders back then, and most especially Congressman Henry Waxman, who helped pierce through that roadblock and helped break that governmental silence, that along with efforts like this today and throughout the country, people taking to the streets to demonstrate their personal and ongoing commitment to the fight against AIDS. Well, that is what has produced the progress, and that is what we continue to rely on for further progress. So again, we're very proud of all our government leaders up here on this stage today, and we call upon them to continue to make HIV funding a priority. And we're committed to holding all of our elected officials accountable, right? So to close our program and to get us all headed out on our 10K walk, uh, please welcome to sing the AIDS Walk anthem, You'll Never Walk Alone, Ms. Lakeisha Jones. I am so honored to be here today for such a worthy call. And I was just really honored when they asked me to be a part of it. This is my first year and I do plan on continuing to do so on, on the ongoing years. So here we go. When you walk through the storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark.
thank you both for that wonderful performance. And again, join me in thanking all of our celebrities and elected officials here on this stage. Enjoy your walk.